vertical test stand three a which is equipped to simulate altitude conditions was reactivated with this initial static firing in march after completion of modifications assembly continued at marshall on the flight systems instrument unit five hundred f s this is the first saturn five i u in which all instrumentation will be actual working hardware Meanwhile, the facilities checkout unit 500F is in storage and will be shipped to Cape Kennedy in August. Structural fabrication of the Saturn V vibration test unit 500V is virtually complete and component assembly will be finished next quarter. Assembly of the Saturn V IU breadboard test unit SIU 500ST is continuing. SIU 200-500S a structural test unit common to both the Saturn 1B and 5 programs was installed atop an S4B forward skirt for structural testing, which got underway May 27th. A second IU structure, designated SIU 200-500-S2, using segments manufactured by North American Aviation, will be assembled by IBM and tested to qualify the structures for Saturn 5 IUs and SIU 203 and subsequent. The first S2-124M stabilized platform for the IU was delivered to Marshall by the manufacturer Bendix Corporation in March and is undergoing checkout by MSFC personnel. The first aerospace systems test and evaluation console, known as Aztec, for laboratory checkout of the IU digital computer and data adapter, was also delivered to Marshall by IBM Owego, New York. A significant development milestone. This marks successful completion of an overall systems marriage of the launch vehicle digital computer and data adapter and the systems test equipment. Checkout of the integrated automatic checkout telemetry ground station was performed by IBM Huntsville during the report period. This system is capable of receiving, recording, processing, and analyzing data transmitted by the various telemetry links of the Saturn vehicles and IUs. Milling of the mounting frame for the IUs ST124M stabilized platform was also performed by IBM this quarter. At the Huntsville facility, work began in April on building number five to be used for administrative and engineering offices. IBM this quarter was awarded a contract for integration and checkout of IUs in addition to its previous responsibility for design and manufacturing. The first of 24 ground computer systems from RCA Data Systems Division, Van Nuys, California, has been delivered to the Marshall Center. The system, known as the RCA 110A, was installed in Marshall's S1C stage checkout facility, which is now in process of buildup. Boeing Company personnel will operate the facility. Marshall's new Saturn V system development facility, also known as the Saturn V breadboard, began to take shape late in the quarter with initial installation of equipment, including 110A computers from RCA and a digital command system from Radiation Incorporated of Palm Bay, Florida. The Saturn V breadboard, being built up in Marshall's Quality and Reliability Assurance Lab, will be operated by Boeing. Upon completion, the Saturn V breadboard will appear like this tabletop scale model. In addition to various stage simulation equipment, the facility will contain such vehicle hardware as an F1 engine, S4B stage aft section with J2 engine, and S4B forward skirt with instrument unit attached. At Marshall's Mississippi Test Facility, construction progressed steadily this quarter on the test complex's two S2 stage static test stands and the dual position S1C stage static test stand, as well as on the associated facilities in MTF's laboratory and engineering complex and support services complex. An activation task force was also at work at MTF to help provide an orderly transition from construction and equipment installation to operational capability as various facilities are completed. 
Delivery of the S2 stages for testing at MTF has been rescheduled with the S2T all systems due to be the first instead of the facility's checkout stage. The S2T, a multi-purpose ground test stage slated for delivery in September, will allow full duration static firing capability, providing additional data prior to firing S2-1. The change also allow allows more expeditious use of S2T ground support equipment, relieving an S and ID manufacturing problem. In summary, March, April, and May 1965 witnessed substantial achievement along a diverse front, with ground support equipment being integrated into the program in increasing volume. Various ground test instrument units in final stages of completion. Continuing advances in engine development, testing, and production. Successful S-4B stage propellant loading tests and continuing flight stage assembly operations. A successful five-engine cluster static firing of the S-2 battleship stage. Concluding phases of assembly work on the first S-1C flight stage and the successful firing of all five engines of the S-1C static test stage. <laughs>